Hi everyone, this is module number 67 for the subject of a strategic human resource management. And in this module, we will talk about the second or the perspective which is in contrast to the best practice known as contingency approaches to strategic human resource management. What is the contingency approach or approaches to the human resource management? So when people are searching for or people were searching for the answer to this question what is the best way to manage people in an organization the best practice approach suggested that there is one best way however the contingency perspective suggests that it depends so in other words contingency theory or the contingency perspective on managing human resource management suggested that what is the best way it depends so it depends on factors it depends on what it depends on factors such as organizational size location sector strategy and nature of work what is the best way to manage people in an organization it depends it depends on what on these factors I just named. Why? For example, in the service sector, for example, in the knowledge sector, or for, for example, where the people are working for research and development, for example, where people are working in a software house and they have to uh, adopt uh, different creative skills or they have to demonstrate some creativity, best practices will vary. How these people should be managed, it depends. So where is the universalistic perspective suggests that there is one best way. So in simple words, the contingency perspective, it depends, is in sharp contrast to the best practice that there is one best way. So over the years, uh, various contingency approaches have been explored. And one of the model was presented by Baird and Mesholem, and they said that what are those factors when we say it depends what is the best way to manage people it depends and depends on what so bear and mushroom suggest that the appropriate hrm approaches will vary according to the different life cycle stages of an organization i hope you people know that there are mainly four life cycle stages for every organization or the products so the introduction stage the growth stage, the maturity stage, and then the decline stage. So how to manage people will vary, and it depends on at what stage in the product life cycle or in the organizational life cycle the company is. Very similar to this concept, Kochan and Baroki, they also introduced their model in 1985, and they suggested a three-phase model of a startup's maturity and decline. The organizations at the startup stage, the organizations in the maturity stage, and organizations in the decline stage, they need to have a different set of HR practices. So which practice is best? It depends. It depends on what? On the different stages of an organization or the products. So more often though, it has been argued that HRM is contingent upon the strategic direction of the organization. So what is the strategic direction of the organization? Your practices or how to manage people depends on these factors. So the underlying assumption is that the stronger the degree of alignment between HR strategy and business strategy, more productive or better the results could be. In other words, it is said that the last point I discuss, the alignment between HR strategy and business strategy. This idea lies in many ways at the heart of strategic human resource management. That is the alignment between HR strategy and the business strategy. For example, if your strategy is to produce low cost products, your HR strategy should be consistent with the low cost strategy. If your strategy is to differentiate your product or make a unique product, 
your HR strategy should be consistent with differentiation strategy that may ask you or that may demand you to hire people who are creative, talented, having the knowledge and can develop something what really is different in the market. Thank you.